we need a backwash for a Hayward filter. So you always look at your gauge. If your gauge's not working, replace this. So right now it's a little it's a little bit high, so we're gonna backwash it. So the, the pump's running. So the first thing you want to do is you don't want to change this dial, you don't want to move this dial when the pump's running. Okay, so you gotta turn before you turn anything here on the top dial, you gotta turn the power off. So if you have a switch or a breaker, you turn that off. Turn it back, look for backwash. There's a filter here. This backwash is gonna be in the back opposite. So you push down. Spin all around. Some of it's gonna be tough, some of it's gonna be easier. So this is in the slot for backwash. So turn it back on. Make sure that your hose is run all the way out. Or if you don't have a hose, make sure if you have a shutoff valve, make sure it's open. Just make sure that there's no nothing restricting the backwash. Okay, now turn it on. So you're gonna have a sight glass right there. Let's see how dirty it is. Usually you can see how dirty it is. At the start of the season, those will probably go all green or brown. Or you can look at the end of the hose see how dirty it is. You just run it for a little bit. Like if it was all green, like really dark green, you just run it till, you know, uh, till it starts clearing up a bit. So I think that's good. It's cleared up already. So we'll turn it off again. So I'll turn that off. That top tile, we're going to move it to rinse. So it should be on this side here. See, it says rinse. You're going to move the rinse. So make sure it's in that groove. Then we're going to turn the power back on. So we're going to rinse this for about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. So the reason for this, so okay, make sure you uh, turn the power off. See, the reason why you rinse it, because if you go from backwash, which is like all this dirty stuff from the filter, if you go from filter or from backwash to filter too fast, then whatever is in the line, like the, the cloudiness or dirt, will just go right back into the pool. So you do the rinse and it just flushes out what that dirty water is. That's why you only do it for about five seconds. Okay, so turn it back to filter and then turn it back on. So for this pool here, it runs, normally it runs between 10 and 15 pounds of pressure, most pools. So this one here has a bunch of smaller jets, so it's created that, that um, more, a little bit more pressure. So I know that this operating uh, pressure is going to be around 22 to 25, which is pretty high, so I probably have to backwash it around 30. So usually when you backwash, it's about five above what your normal rate would be. Whenever you change the sand in this, that's a good time because it's fresh sand. It's a good time to see what your operating pressure should be. This is brand new sand, right? So you kind of have an idea on how dirty it is also. A couple years down the road, if you have to replace it, if you just can't get it below, say, you know, 20 or whatever, if it's sitting like this. But when you put brand new sand and maybe it was at 15 pounds, and then now, it doesn't matter what you do, how many times you backwash, it's still high, then you probably have to change the sand in this. That's how you backwash a Hayward filter.